Hello everybody. In the last several months I've had an issue with my 873G Bobcat uh, throwing a 3240 air. The issue would happen when I would operate the lift handle and the tilt handle at the same time. So the purpose of this video is to document the process that I went through to determine what the issue was and repair it. In uh, diagnosing this problem is I went ahead and took the wiring harness out of the handle and so you have to take all the connectors off and it's fairly easy to do. Uh, for example this two pin connector I'll see if uh, I can get some video demonstrating how to do that. And so you just free up this uh, clip that's on holds the back of the wire looks like this and then I took a pair of needle nose pliers on this side and you can just push through and they release There, I heard it. Get the other side. That's what it looks like. Removed. They're definitely tight. I also have a punch. It helps as well. That's what it takes to get the connectors out. These connectors are also labeled. Probably not going to be able to see it, but uh, this one has an A and a B that's printed on the end of the connector. The service manual has a table that's got all the connectors identified. So this is a orange blue, and this one's an orange white. And in the book, it'll say. Orange blue is for A and orange white is for B. Okay, here's what I did to diagnose my issue with the uh, lift handle sensor coating out a 3240 air, which is the lift handle not calibrated. So I took the connector that comes from the lift handle sensor that goes to the connector that goes to the controller and I took the pins out so you can see here I have ground separated this is the wire that goes from the plug to the controller this is the positive wire that goes from the plug to the controller and I still have the signal wire inside the connector and it's green and I ran I took the plug apart on from the handle side and uh, you can see there's the uh, wire for signal there's the wire for ground and there's the wire for positive those are the wires that are coming from the lift handle sensor uh, to the connector that goes to the controller I currently have 2.05 volts in neutral you can see when I move the handle the actuator cycles so this would be a down boom and looks like max is 3.14 back to neutral the low voltage that 106 107 
and you can hear the actuator running over there. There's the tilt. And you can see I have two different uh, actuators. I replaced the lift actuator. Uh, and when I started this problem, it was getting oil inside the motor. So it was still working when I bench tested it, but I decided to go ahead and take it off. So what I've discovered is that there is an issue with the connector. And I don't think it is the wires themselves that are causing my problem. And it appears to be on the positive. So when I stuck this connector back in and put this side on it, I would get uh, some drops in voltage or some uncommanded voltage. I'm not quite sure yet, so I'm still working on it. But I wanted to show you how I wired everything up uh, in order to do some of this testing. Wire harness back down through the tube for the control steering handle. I uh, used fish tape come in from the back side. I'm going to tie a piece of string onto there, feed it back down through, and then tie the end of that to the end of this wire harness right there where that tape is at and I'll intend to use that string then to be able to move the, the wire harness back and forth when it hangs up because I don't think I'm going to have any luck trying to push the wire harness all the way through there from this side. It was, wasn't bad taking it out but I think it's impossible to try to push that back through there. So I'm going to give this give this a try and see what happens. Well I'm pleased to report that that ended up working very well. It only took me a few minutes to feed that whole wire bundle down the left steering handle. Okay well here's what I found uh, with the connector. Uh, this power wire which is this one uh, had a maybe a malformed connector on the controller side so I took this wire out I used a uh, safety pin to push down and release the wire and then you pull it through they're a little bit uh, hard to get out but I did finally figure out a method that worked well and it was with a safety pin and uh, pushed it inward and then pulled at the same time and I was able to release this wire and so what I did was I went ahead and used a pair of needle nose pliers and squared up the connector and made a better connection to hold the, the wire that comes in from the handle sensor side uh, and made it tight and now when I wiggle these, I'm not getting my air anymore. So I'm hoping that you can hear the actuator running when I move the handle. So I'm hoping that. Uh, Maybe I can order some of these ends, put new ends on for the connector would probably be the thing to do in the long term. I don't have a crimper for these weather pack type automotive electrical connectors, connectors. so I'd, I would have to, I just heard the uh, actuator cycle just a little bit there when I move these wires so I still probably oh I can feel that yeah that wire on the power side pulled out just a fuzz but the connection now is much tighter so I think I just had a loose connection in this one pin inside the connector that was causing me the, 
the grief with the 3240 air.